Now we head overseas to the fire and protests raging right on Russia's doorstep. A giant city in flames, even as Russian President Vladimir Putin tries to put on his best face during the Olympics. ABC's Hamish McDonald now on the tinderbox in Ukraine tonight. Kiev is burning tonight. Flaming tires, fireworks, the stench of tear gas. Security forces pushed into the center to drive out the protesters. Opposition leader Vitaly Klitschko, once a world champion boxer, tonight in the fight of his life. He's calling the heart of this city an island of freedom. Today, it was a sea of anger. Demonstrators armed themselves with bricks and clashed with columns of police backed by water cannon. They claimed advantage on rooftops and beat the men in uniform. Sometimes we saw mercy, sometimes brute force. And on both sides, they suffered casualties. At least 13 are dead. We witnessed just weeks ago a disciplined, determined uprising. And these fortifications are pretty impressive. This barrier has gone up in the last couple of days and they're still reinforcing it with sandbags packed with ice. The front line has moved now, but it's clear they were ready. So these are their homemade shields, and through here, a wall of tyres ready for them to set a light if the police just over there attack. This is a giant but divided country. Hardened protesters want to side with Europe. Their president wants to side with Putin. Violence here reveals America and Russia squaring off on opposite sides, inflaming old and bitter divisions. This is now a test of will between Russia and the West. It was always thought Moscow would urge restraint during the Olympics, but make no mistake, Diane, Vladimir Putin is not backing down. You are right, Mac, and no doubt he is working behind the scenes even as he attends the Olympic Games.